Hey, this is Old Man Metal. I hope everyone's doing well, and welcome to the latest in a seemingly interminable series of videos testing various improvements to my studio setup and editing process. So I decided it's time for a new background. I really like the current one. It's a medieval alchemy lab in a museum in Transylvania, and that suits my personality pretty well for those of you who actually know me, but it's time for a change. I want a place with a nice view for a while, I'm tired of this dark tomb, so I went out and found something different. The rent's pretty good because the building's a bit run down and it's a bit isolated, but the view is amazing. So I don't really need a video to test a normal background, but this one's kind of special. It has some capabilities that do need production testing. The way I've made my videos since episode 6 is to shoot on a green screen. That gives me the ability to change the screen layout as needed during a video, and that gives me a lot of flexibility. All I have to do is drop a finely tuned chroma key effect on my main camera clip and make the green parts transparent, and then I can drop in whatever background I want. Now this background doesn't look special because I've already worked its magic in GIMP, but it actually originally had its own built-in green screen. And that made me wonder, can you stack two chroma key tracks on top of a third? And the answer is, yes. Not that I'm going to run it like this all the time, because an extra chroma key effect and an extra video track is hell on render time, not to mention how much it complicates editing, but it's pretty cool to have the option. So. There's no telling what you're going to see outside these windows in the future. <sighs> Y'all take care.